Good girl, take your, your clothes to your bedroom. Can you, I don't think you're tall enough to put them away. That's perfect. Look at you, you're so cute in your polka dots. Cameron actually picked out both of our outfits today. I'm not even kidding. She picked out her outfit, which is this cute little one piece, like romper, adorable thing. And she's playing with the light right now. It's probably not good. Oh, she's putting a sticker on it. And she went through my clean clothes that I had folded, all nice and neat. And she pulled out this dress and she put it on herself and then gave it to me and went. So she picked out my dress. And she picked out her polka dots. Come here, Cameron. Let me see your outfit. Look at how cute you are. Oh, is that all your clean clothes you pull? Oh, do you need, you want to put Olaf away? Do you want to put Olaf in his chair? Yeah. Here's Olaf. Good girl. Give him the snuggles. Put him in his special chair. My mom got her this chair in an estate sale. Ah. And it's super cute, but her little bum is a little tight in it. So we've made this Olaf's chair. But Olaf is heading over to get the sticker off of the light. My goodness, we're so busy. You're so busy today. <laughs> oh, Snuggles. Gotta love the Snuggles. Woo! Woo! What are you doing? Hi, Cameron. Hi. Where'd Cameron go? Where? There she is. Hi. Ah. Uh, oh. You just love Olaf, don't you? So much. I see you eyeing me. Kind of, of the corner of your eye. Oh, use those toes. Use your toes. You're nuts. Seriously, where did this energy come from? She was feeling so sick and grouchy this morning. She was crying and crying and crying and coughing and just her nose has been all runny nonstop today. Then she took a nap and she's like a new kid. Hey, do you want to go get lunch? I know, those are hard to open. I'm going to go eat lunch without you, okay? I'll be back in like 30 minutes. Is that fine? Just don't open the door for any strangers, okay? You want me to pick you anything up? No, he good? Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said it in a vlog before, but, wait a minute. But Cameron, for me, her nickname has always been, pretty much always, has been Cinderella. And obviously she's got blonde hair, blue eyes, super cutie like Cinderella, and my little princess. She loves cleaning, like is obsessed with it. She will cry if she can't mop or sweep or vacuum. I mean, it's a legit concern I have. She's obsessed. But this is the other reason. Look at this girl. Cameron, come here. Come say hi. You never have two shoes on, do you? You always lose a shoe, every single time, without fail. There's only one shoe on. I don't know how, and I don't know why, but you leave shoes on her for more than 10 minutes, you'll look down, and uh, one will be missing, and then you have to go on and search for it. This time was pretty easy. It was just right there by some bundles of joy boxes that she was trying to get into. But seriously, I mean, she loves cleaning. Maybe Cinderella doesn't love cleaning, but she does it. She loves cleaning. She loves animals. She's a cutie patootie. Because she loves stickers, too. And she only wears one shoe. She is the epitome of Cinderella. Can you be the epitome of a person? I don't think so. She is a mini Cinderella. <laughs> What is that? A sticker? Do you need help? Yes, please. Sticker.
Look like this. What, you want to put on, look, sticker on your belly? That's a pretty hard sticker, Cameron. Oh, a little higher, sorry. There's your circle sticker. This is your new favorite thing, huh? All these stickers. Oh, you want to put more stickers on the bundles box? Hi. She just wants to make it pretty for all of our wonderful Bundles family members. Let's not eat the stickers, though. Oh, yeah, you're going to put it in the mailbox. Hi. I wasn't, I really tried to get your singing on camera, but I didn't. What? I was trying to get your singing on camera, but you stopped. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cameron, you got to put your shoes on. Today, Ian and Cameron picked out her pretty outfit. For the day. They did it together as a team and I think they did a lovely job. Cameron, look at your pretty dress. Right. Oh, you're gonna take the car, aren't you? Oh, okay. Cameron, you're 16 months old. You're not 16 years old. We're moving around her play area because I'm trying to figure out where her little craft table can go. I'm thinking under those two windows. What do you think, Cameron? Can you twirl? Show us your pretty dress. Oh, that's dancing. You're a beautiful dancer. Oh, uh, you cannot drive yet. Cameron, did the puppy eat all your passies? Yeah, he's been in a really bad mood today. And he ate all your passies and a bottle. That's not cool. That's not cool, Riley. So today we're gonna go buy. Hi, ready? Look, we're gonna go buy some new passies and some things at Target. We're gonna get her a new potty. Ooh, Target. Oh, look at that. Look at guys, her little mosquito bite on the back of her neck yesterday. Oh, hey, you turn around. See it right there? We're gonna go buy her a second big girl potty because. Her parents, her parents are going out of town tomorrow for a week, and I am watching her. And actually, my grandma is coming in town to help out, which was a last-minute wonderful surprise, so that is super exciting. I won't be alone with this crazy kid all week. You're crazy. Um, but their house is big enough where if she needs to go potty, like this morning she told me, poo 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 and I wanted to get her on the potty. Yes, you did tell me you were a big girl, weren't you? I wanted to go get the potty for her, but it would have been too late because I would have had to run all the way upstairs and all the way to my bathroom and it would have been crazy and it, it would not have worked out well. Um, oh, you gotta get your foot out. So we're gonna get a second potty for downstairs. This is a two toddler potty household. Right, Kevin? We can get potty. Do you want to drive? Okay, go start the car. Go start the car. Rev the engine. Drive fast. But always wear your seatbelt, okay? Okay. What do you need me to do? Oh, see, you don't know how to do it either. You're Wikipedia-ing that. You only have to drag them to the track. That's what I thought. But I thought if I said that, you'd make one of the, those faces at me. Only application bundles. This one you can all or at least most of the foundation This is like my favorite quote. I love this quote. Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. That is by Albert Einstein. What the hell is this? Oh, can you not swear on the vlog? Oh, it just popped up. 
No, I put it there. Yeah, and then it like. Oh, it's a ghost it sticker then. She took it off of your stuff. I told her that you would cry, but she doesn't seem to care. She's really a bully. Oh, see, she laughed. He's going to cry. Ha, ha, ha. Let's put on your pretty shoes. Pretty shoes. There are people that will drive and, like, do this at the same time. Does that not seem safe? Or is it just me? Like, if you can't talk on the phone when you're driving, like, legally, you should not be able to vlog. This is insane. I'm getting nervous doing it, and I'm in the passenger seat. That's, that's, that's crazy. And there are people with kids in the car. I'm sure they've got a lot of Oh, Cameron, does your pretty shoes? They're beautiful. I love them. Where are we going? Are you singing this to the song? Whoa. Are you singing to the song? Can you blow kisses? Are you going to blow kisses to the guy in the car? A little flirt. You little flirt. Look, guys. It's Cameron's first time in one of the front-facing carts. Cameron, say hi. Are you going to push the cart for me? Are you going to push the cart? Oh, would you like a french fry? We stopped to get some french fries and a slushie at Sonic because no one's feeling so great. And we need a little snack, a little pick-me-up. Here go. Say thank you. Okay, don't. Okay. Peep, peep, peep. We're going to go this way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive it. It's so long. It's like a limousine. Do you like this? Do you like it? Let's do this. Look at Cameron picked up a passenger. Now I'm going to try to move this. Oh, Cameron, I want to get you all the dresses. I kind of really want to get you the purple one. I want to see which one I like the most. I, I kind of want this in my size. I love the colors. Isn't that? And see, this is why we say Ian dresses the best. I mean, the proportions are wrong. So, I mean, the proportions? Of course they are. For you. So I don't know if yeah, it'll work. I've gone through puberty. She hasn't. She hasn't even gone through losing her baby fat. I really want you to get this. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay, I'm going to push this. Ready? I don't know if you can. Oh, I can. I'm doing it. My two babies. You having fun, Cameron? It's a good workout. I'm getting my workout in. It's arm day. Do you think Ian could maybe give you one of your french fries? Just another day at Target. Okay, let's go get a potty. We just put together Cameron's little potty training basket. We've got two books, one on potties, one on princesses, of course. And we have six pairs of little training panties. Right, Cameron? No training panties? So excited. And Play-Doh to keep her busy when she's sitting in her potty treats. So this will be very important next week when we go to potty train her. Next week when her parents are out of town, we are going to take that on. And I think she's going to do really well. And now we have a potty downstairs, downstairs too. So... We might have to get a potty basket as well to go downstairs, but I think it's going to go really well. Right, Cameron? Okay. Big news, guys. Cameron just got up from up and she told me poo-poo, and we ran to the potty, and she went poo-poo in the potty. <laughs> She's really matured a lot since then. She's even doing her work in the bathroom now. She's like, i got to make use of all my tea time. Cameron, did you go poo-poo in the potty? You're such a big girl. You, you're trying to get into the computer. Yeah, that's where you put your poo-poo, huh? Did you tell me poo-poo and you put it in the potty? Don't put your hands in there. Uh-uh. Yuckies. Yes, that's where it went, but that's yuckies. Good girl. High five. Preferably with the hand you didn't put in the potty. Yay! She did so well. I was so proud of her for for telling me as soon as I got in there, poo poo. And I thought she had already gone because it's usually what happened. But I checked a diaper and it was empty. So we ran, 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 ran over to this potty. 
Oh, is there anything under there? And we played for a little bit, played with the um, Play-Doh that you just saw in her her little potty box. And uh, she gets an M&M for sitting on the potty. So she got one for sitting on the potty, and then we played with her Play-Doh a little bit. And then she went. You got all the poo-poos out. She's going to hate me so much when she's like 16 and this somehow surfaces. Sorry, Cameron. I love you. And you were very proud. Ian even did a dance for her. He did like a, a happy dance for her when she went. And the pride on her face is evident. And now we're having a dance party because Ian is hard of hearing and the music is always louder when he's around. Can you dance? Or are you just, oh, you're just all about that work, aren't you? Don't want to bother you. I just got a huge box um, of samples for Bundles of Joy from a company that wants to be part of our program. And I thought Cameron would be really excited. I mean, she's a baby. Sorry, I have to fix this. She's a baby, and it's all baby stuff. But this is her fa Oh, this is her favorite stuff. The bubble wrap. She has been carrying it around everywhere. And it just reminds me of being a kid and how much I loved bubble wrap and how much every kid loves bubble wrap. Right, Cameron? It's hard. <laughs> you want to vlog? Hi.